Recently, I was talking to a student of mine about a very simple song called The Music Box Dancer. I had listened to it earlier, and I thought it was a good example of something that uses only one, four, and five chords. It sounded to me like C major, so I reached over to the piano to confirm it, but it turns out it's in D flat major. Before I go any further in this video, I will play one note on my piano, and it can be any one of all the white and black notes on the piano. Here it is. What did you hear? If you know exactly what it is without a reference, you probably want to do more investigation into how accurate you are. The answer to what I played is E. So if your answer is E, either you got lucky or you may have the ability to recognize pitch without a reference. You would have to do a lot more experimentation to find out how accurate you are if you don't already know. Unfortunately, I can't give you another note now to listen to that will immediately test pitch recognition without a reference, because the moment you have heard the one note that I played, you can get a second note from the first note, and that's called relative pitch. So as I already said, when I guess a note that I hear, I am exactly right about 50% of the time, but the other 50% of the time, I will be off one half tone. However, I am never off more than a half tone. So my pitch sense is not totally accurate, but it's pretty close. A person with true perfect pitch will be right every time. Such a person will never be off one half tone. But many musicians are not nearly as close as I am most of the time, so what do I have? I call it imperfect pitch. I obviously don't have perfect pitch, also called absolute pitch, but I'm close and I use my imperfect pitch to good advantage. So this is one of my favorite terms, imperfect pitch. Feel free to use it. The problem is that most people describe hearing as two extremes. So with that idea, either we know exactly what pitch is played at all times without a reference, and we are never wrong, or we don't have any idea of what pitch we are hearing without a reference. It's an all-or-nothing point of view. But it is more likely that each of us have some degree of accuracy that probably could be measured over time. And if that were done, I'm thinking that some people are probably like me, accurate within a half tone, and others may be accurate within a tone. Someone else may be accurate within a tone and a half. In other words, the sense of what any note sounds like without a reference is probably variable from person to person, and it may be variable from day to day in the same person. And this is why I think the term imperfect pitch is something that we need. It describes the idea that there are probably infinite degrees of sensitivity to pitches without a reference. So perhaps you have forgotten what that first pitch was that I played here. Let's play another one. What did you hear this time? This time I played an A-flat, which obviously could also be a G-sharp. If you got my first question right, and then you got my second question right here, your imperfect pitch may in fact be very close to perfect. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me comments about anything you like, comments about anything you'd like to see in the future, and remember that I consider all suggestions.